Jacefer presents my latest custom build, an 18 passenger Lego yellow school bus. I'm going to start off with the side here. You can see I have the lines that you would normally see on a school bus, the black lines on the yellow body. Got the block glass elements here for the windows. These don't open up, but I like the way it turned out. The white roof here. You know, school buses usually here in my part of the country have the white tops on them. So I wanted to kind of simulate that effect. Now let's take a look at the door here. And you can see inside that I have some grills in there. That's the non-skid floor that you would normally find in a school bus. I'll also put a little handrail up in there. And I'll show you all the interior here in a second. Now let's look at the front of the bus. You can see I got the side mirrors. And got the windshield wipers here, the raised uh, slopes for the hood of the school bus. Kind of gives it that rounded look. I like the metallic use of the grills there. Headlights, turn signals, as well as up here I got the you know, flashing lights and the turn signals up here as well. And if you want, you could put a sticker that says school bus. I didn't have one. I didn't want to make one, so I just kind of left it off. So that's the front end of the school bus. I like it. It looks really great. Now let's take a look at the side here of the school bus. It's the same as the other side, except I have the stop sign here that does pop out. And it's two red discs on both sides. So, if you're stopped either this way or this way, you'll see the stop sign. And you can put a decal down as well. I chose not to. It looks really great. Let's take a look at the rear of the bus. This door does not open up, so it's a fake door. But I do have the use of the flashing stop lights as well as the brake lights and turn signals. And I can put a school bus sticker on there if I choose to. So I just used the glass block in here. I, I'm really satisfied with the rear of this. It looks really realistic. I like it. Let's take a look underneath. First thing you're going to notice is the use of the wheels. The front end of the wheels here are single wheels for the engine. And on this side, we have double wheels, which you'd find on a dually pickup. And they do spin independently. I wanted to kind of give this an authentic feel. You know, most school buses have the dually in the back. And it's just constructed with uh, Technic bricks. Now let's kind of pop in and let's look at the inside of the bus. Top does come off easily, just snaps in place. Just some simple plates and such. Now this is where it gets interesting. As you can see, it can seat up to 18 passengers, including the driver. Let's start off with the Steering console, I added some extra gauges, a little gas gauge there in the corner with the red steering wheel, and it is fully tiltable. So this does tilt up and down. Also got a gear shift here. Also carried the black on the other side of the dash. And here is that handrail I showed you earlier and the non-skid floor. So that turned out really well. I like the way this turned out. Lots of detail. Now here's the 18 seats. You can see some of the plates underneath are different colors. I ran out of plates, but it looked really well. Same style I did for the Jeep. So it can easily seat 18 minifigs. And just to prove our theory of it can actually hold 18 minifigs. Let's put 18 minifigs inside. Well, I'm going to use this guy for the driver. I'm just going to seat him down inside like so. 
I'll just pop his hands up here for the steering wheel. And let's see. He does sit comfortably in the bus. Now let's load up our passengers. Now this will not work with the children minifigs, but they will work with full-grown adult minifigs. Let's see here. Just going to start plugging in minifigs. And they can just seat, be seated like this. Let's just start setting them in here. Like so. And we'll just put an old, we'll put this older gentleman in the back. You know, why not? We'll make this, maybe it's parents night, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see here. And you can see that they fit comfortably. Let's see more minifigs in there. Let's see how many we can fit in here. I actually have 19 minifigs in total that I had found. So we're just going to seat them in. Y'all know who this is. Jade and McBrick. Let's put them here. It's very hard to put them in when I'm holding the cam on my shoulder. Let's see here. But you get the idea. So, I'm gonna keep putting minifigs in. And let's place Harry Potter right here. You can see that everybody fits nice in the bus. So it does seat 18 minifigs plus the driver. Let's put the top of the bus on. You can see I have a seamless construction on both sides of the bus. So everybody can be seated in the vehicle without much hassle and it does roll around nice smooth I think it's the right height for minifigs minifig ready and I like the way everything turned out I'm going to take a closer look in here like what you'd see in a school bus just on a smaller scale as well as the compartment with the driver sitting. Lots of detail into this bus. For being such a small vehicle, it does seat a lot of minifigs. And has great value for play. For being a custom build, I'm really satisfied with this. I really like this school bus. I think this is one of my best vehicles yet. It turned out really great. I really like this. So this is my custom build, my 18 passenger Lego Yellow School Bus. Thank you for watching.